open. I'm a little late to the game, but I haven't watched any spoilers yet, so I can't wait to dig into these. So let's start off with Knit Crate. Um, let's see what we got. Open up. Oh, I see something beautiful already. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Y'all. Oh. Oh, it's like the yarn is like got, um, it's like that chain yarn. I don't know. Can you see it? It's real, oh, the beautiful colorway, soft. Mm-hmm, I think me likes. They did not disappoint. Oh, look how cute. Look how cute, Little, it's a tape measure. You know what I thought about doing? Many of y'all probably already do this, but I thought about getting like a little notion bag for each whip that I have, and then put in the tape measure, the darning needle, the hook, everything I need for that project in the notion bag with the, pro with the whip. You know what I mean? So I was thinking, oh, I need to start collecting little tape measures and things. And that's really cute. So I like that. Let's look at the book here. Pretty pattern there on the front. Okay, let's get the glasses on so we can say. And, oh, let me tell you about the yarn first. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Vatalina, Vatalina, <laughs> you know, gosh, names. Anyway, the colorway is called We Violets. Vatalina. Aloft is the name of the yarn. It's 48% merino, 20% baby alpaca, and 32% organic cotton. <gasps> I love it even more knowing what the fiber is with the cotton in there. Oh, how nice. Okay, I think I have a project in mind. But let's see what they have here in the Zabuka. Now, looks like they had another colorway also. Yes, they had this peachy color. Tiger Lily, it's called. They had the Tiger Lily and the Wee Violet. Is it called Wee Violets? Because it's like an Irish or a Scottish thing. <laughs> That's cute. Um, or maybe that's where the yarn company's from. I don't know these things. Anyway. Oh, look at the sock. Uh, the sock membership crate was, um, Audine Wool's luxury sock in the colorway Calico Quilt. That's really pretty. Soft blues with speckles in it. Very pretty. Very pretty. Let's see what patterns they have for us this month. Now, it appears that this is the, is this the, nope, this is the knit pattern, Rose of Lavender. Very pretty. Now, when I first looked at that, it looked like crochet to me, but I love it and I can't make it, <laughs> so let's see what else we got. Okay, this is, this must be the crochet pattern. It's called Golden Afternoon Scarf by Susan Lohman. That's very pretty. I like that. It's, it's very um, classic to me. Um, elegant but not frilly you know what I mean which is kind of up my alley I'm not too much into frills so I like that why do I always say up my alley why where did that phrase come from that's just weird look how um 
Look at the pretty sock pattern. I'm sure that's knit, not crochet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that looks like it for the patterns. So yeah, I'm really, I'm really in love with this yarn. I'm so glad we got two skeins this time. That always makes us happy, right? <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. It is some beautiful yarn and it's definitely worth it. It's gorgeous. Okay, let me get set up for the next box. Okay, drum roll, please. Da -da 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 -dum, dun -dun -dun. Crochet Society. Sarah Jane with Bella Coco. This is her first ever, her first crochet box um, subscription. And it took forever to get over here from overseas, but I was patiently waiting and I'm so excited and happy that it's here. Um, I know there's been a few videos out already and I have not watched the spoilers. So I'm excited to see what's in here because I wanted to get, you know, my first look into my excitement of the Crochet Society box. We are all wrapped up here. Crochet Society sticker on there. Mm. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. And there she is. And she's so pretty. So cute. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, wait. Let's look at the yarn and then we'll look at the box. <gasps> look, it's got these uh, confettis in here sprinkled around. <laughs> Isn't that fun? That's cute. That is so cute. Looks like we got a little bag of some stuffing here. Some polyfill. And the yarn is called Bo Peep. Isn't that precious? That is so precious. Bo Peep Luxury Baby Falkland Wool. It Ah, oh, I don't think I've ever felt yarn. This yarn, you can like almost squish it flat. You know what I mean? It's like so full and light. Oh my goodness, let's read about it. 112 meters, or oh, 122 yards, 50 gram ball, 52% uh, Falkland wool, and 48% nylon, made in Yorkshire. West Yorkshire Spinners, Key, Keeley, England. Oh my goodness. Well, it's this beautiful gray color. Let's see if it has a colorway on here. This beautiful light gray. I love neutrals. Who am I kidding? I love all colors, but I guess I do. Uh, I don't know, what do I lean towards? Blues, teals, neutrals, I guess more than anything, but I love all colors. I love black even. Okay, so let's see. I don't see, I don't think I see a colorway on here. Um, 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 I'm spinning, I don't know. Maybe it's just this number on this, this code on here. Okay, here's the other one that was in the box. It's this beautiful pastel -y, um, green, greenish blue. It's like an aqua, I guess you could call it. Some people might call that green. Some people might call that blue. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not the best at deciphering, I'll be honest. <laughs> I just think it's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so, um, oh, I don't see, yeah, I still don't see colorway on here. I wonder if that sticker's covering it up. Anyway, it don't matter because it's just party. It's so pretty. Now let's see what else is in the box. This is Go Peep Great Adventures, 10 matching designs for bear and child. This must be, um, has something to do with where you can get patterns or something. Look how adorable that is. 
the bear <laughs> and the little girl and that poncho. Oh, look at the little palms on the poncho. How adorable is that? How adorable is that? I don't know. I'll have to read more in this. Let's see what that's about. Oh, look, we got stitch markers. We got stitch markers. Oh, I'm so excited, y'all. These are like, oh, so adorable. Little yarn ball. And this says, but first, crochet, right? <laughs> And then the little yarn ball and a crochet hook and scissors on that one. How cute is that? How cute is that? Now look. Oh, this looks like some little sticky notes to put, you know, I'm sure it has like the, um, what do you call those things? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the sticky notes where um, you can write a little note on it and stick it on your project or, uh, or on your pattern or whatever, you know, mark your place or whatever. Very cute. Very cute. Be inspired, love, and then the yarn ball says. And this is, apparently we must have a project for a stuffy or amigurumi, so I will love that. Yes. Oh look, I got another tape measure. I got another tape measure. Crochet Society. So that's her logo then with the um the yarn ball scissors and crochet hook. I love it. I love it. Yarn ball. Oh yeah, look. Hmm, wonder what that's for, little eyeballs. Safety eyes. One, two, three, four. Four eyes. Four eyes must mean two projects. Um, let's see. Oh, it's a little, it's a little journal, a little notebook. But first, crochet. And then on the back, her Bella Coco logo. Bella Coco. But first, crochet. Oh, it even says it on the corners of the pages. Ah, y'all. Sarah Jane, I'm loving this. Absolutely worth every moment of waiting for it. And I cannot wait for next month's. Um, I'm gonna show you this hook. I don't know what this is. It says, shh, I'm counting. Oh, look on the back. What is this? Hook size conversion chart and crochet terms conversion. Oh, from UK to English. Because she's UK, so this is great. Great, great. Yeah, I'll definitely need that because I hope I don't get confused with her patterns. Um, but I'm sure she'll spell it out nice and clear about what's UK terms and what's um, in US terms. Not English, but US. Oh, I had this in my hand. Look at this hook, y'all. Crochet Society, a 3.5. Isn't that adorable? This looks like a really nice hook. I am loving that. Yes, indeed. Nice. It is. Oh, it's so cute with like the little polka dots. Like this confetti. That's what's... Uh, like on the hook. Wow, she really thought a lot of this really through. I like how this has a longer shank on it because some hooks are only like that long with a shank with a big handle. And I like to have the longer shank. I guess that's what you call that. So that's really nice. It feels really good in my hand. So I'll enjoy using that. But a 3.5, did I even look to see what weight this yarn was, or does it tell me? Meters, yards, suggested four millimeter knitting needles. Um, not all the info that we're used to here in the US, but that's okay. 
to me it looks like a DK weight it looks like a three so yeah yay that sounds awesome oh wait I didn't even get to the book yet <laughs> let's see let's see the patterns I see some mittens or some fingerless gloves or fingerless mittens or whatever you want to call them and nice little book here let me see if i can find like here they are willow field mitts willow field mitts how cute is that so those are that's the same two colors of yarn so you can make that i'm sure there's other patterns What's in your box? And she's explaining everything that's in the box. Oh, look at this little wall hanging. How cute is that? Diamond Delight, that's called. Diamond Delight. There's the pattern for that. And then she talks about the yarn made in Yorkshire. <gasps> Here's the Amigurumis. Penrose the Pocket Bear. <laughs> Oh no, that's definitely, I think, what I'm going to do. Oh no, look how adorably cute that is. But I don't know, I kind of want those fingerless mitts too. But I got the pattern now, so I can use a different yarn to make it. I'm sure you could probably, maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, order some more of this yarn or something. That would be... Um, that would be fun to investigate that. Snap and share. So, uh, oh, look. Some little baby, um, not, I guess you call them baby booties, but you know, the baby little girl shoes, Mary Jane's or something. You know what I mean? Glass slippers is the name of that one. I tell y'all, I am very, very impressed with this box, and I am looking forward to many more to come. And Sarah Jane, thank you. You did a great job with this, and thank you so much for, for offering this, you know, worldwide. They will not be disappointed once they get it, and it'll be worth the wait. So, thanks so much. It's great. So, I think I'm just going to make this video short and sweet, and just leave it with those two boxes opened up. Um, but I'll work on another one soon, uh, maybe this weekend. So, um, until then, just stay kind and I'll see you next time.